And the tropics heating up again. Yeah, it's uh, the end of July. I mean, the right, tropics starting to heat up a little more. And we kind of look more to the east now, off of Africa right. this time of year, to try to see if anything develops. Right. Not much out there right now. There's okay. a few waves that have been kind of surviving their trek to the Caribbean now, which is normal. Right. Uh, but every once in a while, one of those tries to spin up. So we're watching that's what one. That's we're watching. Yeah, we're watching one right now. Nothing okay. to get excited about, which good. is good news. Uh, but you can see here, this is the one we're talking about. Uh, again, working its way into the area. It's Invest 95, and the chance for development of this point is very low. You see there 10 to 20% chance at best with this system here. So we're not looking at anything too significant. It's very unorganized or disorganized at the moment, but as it works its way across Hispaniola and Cuba has to survive the mountainous terrain of those areas, work its way through part of the Bahamas and then heading up into parts of maybe possibly Florida here as we get toward the end of the week and into the weekend. One good thing for us though, ridge of high pressure in the upper levels building from across the uh, Rocky Mountains in the Plain States would keep this off to our east, which is good news for us. However, looks like it could be a rainmaker for parts of Florida, so definitely something to watch. You can see where it's kind of spinning there across part of the islands and into the Caribbean at this this point. Some bigger thunderstorms just off to the north of it right now, and you can see most of them are working the way through parts of uh, just south of San Juan, Antigua area, back to Martinique, a little bit of some rain, but nothing organized. There's a big swirl here, but that's about all we have with it. Winds are at 30. This is from earlier this morning. Forecast models ain't running much with this one either, so again, nothing to get excited excited about, but definitely something worth watching here. And you can see here, this is the American model, kind of basically taking this big area here, a little spin with it, but it's not much here. This is by Thursday morning. Now, as the cluster kind of works its way through the Bahamas and gets there by, say, Saturday morning, maybe a little more of a circulation. So we're looking at atmospheric rotation, the mid-levels of the atmosphere, to try to see if there's something to watch here. And there just isn't too much. It does get a little better organized once it goes up and curves around the East Coast, according to the American model. European model more or less the same. You can see not much to it. A little bit of some cluster here kind of north of Hispaniola back to the Bahamas by Thursday morning and then it finally gets a little bit act together. Maybe European slightly closer to the Florida Peninsula as we get to Saturday morning and then it also kind of curves its way out and goes out to sea as well too. So uh, they all kind of agree that whatever this may be just a tropical wave kind of impacting Florida by the weekend then curving back out to sea. So we'll watch it. Big ridge of high pressure sitting out here in the Atlantic that also kind of the path of least resistance. That's where the are both taking and that ridge of high pressure sitting over the plain states blocking their systems from coming our way as well too. So that's some good news for us. As for the rest of the tropics, uh, the Gulf of Mexico area high pressure is kind of sitting here, a little upper level low sitting there as well, but nothing coming from that. So that's some good news. There again is Invest 95 sitting here kind of just south of San Juan, Puerto Rico. And again, we're watching a few more of these waves I was talking about with Karen coming off of the uh, coast of Africa. So these have not been as big and impressive as they look like when they come off of the coast and they kind of fizzle out quite a bit. A lot of Saharan dust still working its way through the area and it's helping to choke a lot of these systems. So that's definitely something that's good. If we can keep that dust out there, kind of prevents these systems from forming. So what are we looking at back here at home? Again, hotter with fewer storms today, better chance for storms with heavy rain tomorrow and hot with spotty storms as we head into the rest of the week beyond tomorrow. Right now, though, temperatures coming in 88 degrees out there, but it does feel like it's 96 with some of those calm winds north of the lake. We're talking about 88 there in Hammond, 87 Slidell, 92 in Reserve and anywhere from 88 in the Homa area. And you can see feel like temperatures already 102 reserve 96 Kenner to Homa lower to mid 90s. there north of the lake back to the parts of the east and we'll feel like the mid 90s this afternoon before temperatures trail off as we head into the evening hours. Chance of rain does increase a little bit by five o'clock when you're heading home from work today. So do plan for a little rain by then, but still not a lot expected. Nothing right now in the metro area. Showers and storms near Morgan City to Pierre Parr area, but that's really about it. The rest of the region kind of quiet. Maybe one shower popping up over the spillway I just saw there. But this front, as he moves closer to us tomorrow, that is going to help to spark off some additional showers and storms. So 30% chance today, 60% tomorrow, and then down to 40 to 30% as we go through the rest of the week. You'll see here on Precision Cast some of those showers trying to develop this afternoon. Maybe there's the one we're talking about a couple here, but the overall coverage much less than we saw yesterday. Pretty quiet here by 10 o'clock tonight. That overnight we'll see some storms coming in, and then that's the start of it by 7 a.m. And then you'll see bigger storms coming in from lunchtime, heading on into 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Some of these gusty winds and very heavy rain. And they'll continue here to about 6 o'clock and finally by 10 o'clock on Tuesday, the weather starts to improve and the rain comes to an end. So for today, 30% chance rain 91 tomorrow, 60% chance and 88 and we have about a 40% Wednesday and then not much rain thereafter.